so we all use google on a daily basis and there's no uh point for me to spend a lot of time actually introducing google we all know google um we use google map we use you know google search we use youtube of course you're watching on youtube right now this is google so and we know google stock right you know g o o g and there's two type of stocks in google um but what i want to introduce today is not actually google stock itself but something similar to google stock or is a proxy to google stock but that will generate a yield of 11 percent this is unique and i've made a video before on tesla and today i'm going to introduce another one which is google so this is a series where i'm going to introduce this type of uh covered call stock or etf it's more of uh, an etf but it is what we call one stock etf so if you don't know about one stock etf is something that has actually uh, gained popularity in uh, within this couple of years you know they're introduced um and then now they're coming into market more and more so today we're going to talk specifically about google and the ticker symbol is g o o g l that's a uh, alphabet share um alphabet shares purpose etf so what's a purpose uh, purpose is um, a Canadian company um, uh, in Toronto that manages more ETFs and uh, specifically they do a lot of covered call ETFs and uh, you know uh, they um, some sort of ETF and cover call ETF that generate yield and they do pay monthly so today let's go deep in this overview of this fund itself so purpose uh, of this fund right maximize yield from a holding alphabet share by using covered call strategy and moderate leverage and attractive monthly yield from covered call strategy 50 percent and moderate leverage of 25 percent while staying invested in alphabet shares so the thing i like about this one of course is 50 percent represent meaning they only put 50 percent of your money into covered call and the 50 percent of your money is going to be left invested in google uh, stock itself so there's a 50 percent here uh, left for growth and 50 percent here is used to write a cover call and they would use that including the 25 percent here they introduce so that introduce uh, 25 percent of leverage of course will create more um you know more income for you uh, when we come to uh, participate in a long-term growth opportunity of alphabet shares um benefit from tax efficient and stay protected from current risk so why current risk here the reason of current risk is because google we know is american company trade on nasdaq and because it's american uh, american company and is trade on american exchange so if you're a canadian you want to buy google you have to actually use your canadian dollar uh convert it to us dollar and then you can buy google so because this uh, ETF particular is trading on Toronto Stock Exchange or NEO, it's trading Canada actually, NEO Exchange uses Canadian dollar. So you do not have to exchange your dollar to buy US dollar just in case if there is a conversion rate differences or there is a, you buy US dollars today at a high risk, a high, uh, uh, higher today. And then they say tomorrow it falls and of course your, your, your money will be lower. So instead of having all that hassle, you just gonna buy this ETF and then there you'd have your share of Google where you participate about 50% and 50% of your money is gonna be written covered call ETF. So if there is a growth, you're gonna get growth of that 50% and the call option will be called up on. So you're gonna lose that growth of 50%, right? By end of the day, you're still gonna get your yield that will make up for it. And the people who manage this, um, these ETF in particular, uh, Nicholas Smirch, CFA, you know, uh, portfolio manager of uh, Papers Investment, which is Canadian company again, and this is uh, based of Toronto. Um, New World Bad is also CFA, a portfolio manager, Papers Investment. Um, eligibility: What kind of account you can use to buy the CTF? Of course, here um, you can. Um, it's eligible for all registered and unregistered and registered accounts. So you have TFSA, RSP and all that stuff like that. And also it does have drip. So if you want your money to just be invested to buy more share, you can use that drip. Um, and let's look at the fund detail itself. So the ticker symbol, if you want to buy, you're going on the you on exchange, you want to buy this one is YGOG. 
our distribution yield at this moment is 1080 so we we'll round up to 11 percent um and this is of this is as of uh, March 3rd, which is about, you know, last Friday. That was a yield from last Friday. So as the stock goes up, of course, the yield falls and the stock has, goes down. The yield increases, as we know. And management fee is about 40 basis points. Um, how much it invested so far is $5.1 million. And NAV at this point is 2037. This is net asset value. The pretty much... Um, equal to the price of the stock itself which is 2035 you know because of the fee of course you cannot 2035 and you got now net asset value of uh, 2037 so it's pretty close management expense ratio you know um so this uh, metric include cost of any underlying funds etf which may be held in the portfolio that's a management expense ratio uh in and on top of that one uh of management fee so i would estimate about maybe uh, 0.6 percent when you come to overall costs with exchange rate and everything like that but this is cheaper than you trading your own money because if you trade canadian dollar to us dollar you're gonna have to pay i think two percent or 1.1.5 percent so it's more than what you're gonna pay fund structure is investment trust distribution uh we've seen that it's monthly current stage yes it does um he does have um, currency hedge, so they hedge your money against the exchange. So the fluctuation of a dollar, Canadian dollar versus US dollar, it doesn't affect your portfolio. That's what it means uh, when they hedge your uh, currency against other currency, right? So when we look at um, portfolio breakdown, right? <clears throat> if we look at the portfolio breakdown, we can see here um, equity, underlying equity, it's only one. Um, we can see it's only one underlying equity it's only one because this is google and option has been written about 17 uh, 17 call option right now and these are the rest of these are more of a technical how they write a call so we don't have to worry about those as much uh when we look at the distribution look at the distribution they've paid since it was incepted of course since they created this fund you know we can see the record here um They've been paying a uh, dividend from December 28th, January and uh, February. And the next one will be March. And uh, these are the record dates. These are the payment dates. And they've been paying about 18 cents, you know, um, 1833. That's how much they've been paying. So it's a pretty good, which uh, equates to the yield of whatever the stock is going to be, uh, whatever, whatever they stock price is going to be is going to be based of that 18 cents 18 oh, 0.1833 because i'm not going to say just 18 cents because three three if you have a thousands of shares that three three actually adds up a lot so you know um that's it um you know that's it about this fund um by the way uh let me let me go performance actually so we look at uh, performance because here it says performance and distribution so performance for this series cannot be displayed until one year after inception 20 uh 22 19 uh so december 19 20 2022 that was the date that they create or was incepted so because in uh base of canadian law right the canadian uh, exchange and commission exchange they of course they cannot display the fund uh, performance until one year has passed and because we haven't uh, completed one year it's only been a few months so they cannot display but we can go to another place this is a dig deep and then i found the actually performance of this fund and we're going to compare performance between this one and google itself we see the what um uh you know is it good to invest in this or should you just invest in google okay let's go boom this is pretty good look at this this is from uh, global mail actually um you know on their investment section um or finance section alphabet google yield share from purpose uh or ticket symbol is y g o g dot n e which is neo exchange look at the price right now is 2035 Okay, look at this. These are the previous close. 52 week is 23, 97 to 19. 
volume is about 2000 something like that because this fund is small so it has doesn't have as much volume uh, volatility is high of course because it's re it's a covered call ETF um, but look at this look at the performance so year-to-date performance I mean in you know when it's 11 point sixty two percent that's how much has gained from you know this stock being up as compared to Google Google so far has returned about you know from the day that was incepted has returned about because we can go long term because this fund has only been for a few months but within these few months that's been around has outperformed Google we have like a benchmark because it's an ETF so ETF all ETF have benchmark but benchmark in this case is only Google because of one stock right so we look at the a performance here Google has written about 7.41 percent I actually went to Google Yahoo Finance and I look at that it's literally uh, Google right now is down but we look at the date that was incepted and that date up to now this fund which is Google um, covered call ETF has returned about 11.62 percent and Google has returned only 7 percent so this fund has beaten Google and this is because of course they write a cover call using the 25 percent leverage and also has the yield of 11 percent so you know it's, it's pretty good so if you want to invest in google and generate that income then there you have it this is uh google alphabet yield you can buy you know from uh, your whatever exchange and you can use any type of investment account you have with the rsp tfsa or a margin a margin or corporate account whatever you want to buy that's it so thank you for watching and if you have any question or if you like my content please subscribe and keep you know watching more videos i'm going to talk more about these type of funds and whatever there's a news and anything like that so just make sure you you know uh hit the bell button so you can get notified whenever i release a new video or i have any new update on these funds or any other etf that i talk about bye bye